Now today we're going to be re revising multiplication, which is times, remember. Let's take a look. All right, now I want you to use this method that we are using today. Please, you must remember to use this method. Right, so 2 times 324. So we start with the units, remember, to help you. If you want to, you can always write U-T-H. The units, the tens and the hundreds going that way. Right, 2 times 4 is 8. Nothing to carry over, because it isn't 10 or more. 2 times 2, remember you use it as a 2, because it's 2 tens. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. See how easy that is. There was nothing to carry with any of those. Now let's move to number 2, where we're going to have to carry over. And have a look. Starting again with the units. Right, 3 times 5 is 15. Put down the 5 of the 15, and if you want to, you can actually write it down there. And then put the unit down there. All right. The 10 goes up at the top then, that one. 3 times 4. Remember we say 3 times 4 because it's 10s. 12 plus 1 is 13. Put down your 3. Carry the 1 above the 100. It's actually 100. So, remember, 3 times 2 is 6 plus the extra 1 there is 7. Right. Let's move to number 3 now. Units. 3 times 6 uh, at least, sorry, 4 times 6, 24. Put down the 4 from the 20. The unit goes there, remember? And the 10 goes up there. It was 24. Now, 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 2, 22. So you put down the 2 there, and you carry the 20 up there. And now it's in the hundreds column. 4 times 4 is 16. Plus the 2 after that, and you get 18. Right, 1,824. Now let's move to the next example. Here we have 5 times 5 is 25. Put down your 5 from the 25. Carry your 2 above the 10s. 5 times 7 is 35. Add in the 2 after that and you have 37. So you put down your 7. You carry your 3 from the 30 above the 100s there. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So you have 1,875. Let's move to our last example now. 6 times 7 is 42. That's right. Put down the unit, carry the 10. Right. 6 times 6 is 36. Plus 4 is 40. Put down your, your naught, which is the unit of 40, and put the 4 at the top there. And we say 6 times 3 is 18. Then we plus on the 4 and it's 22. So we have 2,202. All right, now I want you to try your examples today. Please remember the method that I've used here. And please will you do that method as well.